sometimes it's the friendship you never expect that can end up saving your life. In the case of an orphaned elephant in South Africa, you'll never guess what bond did wonders for its well-being. You've heard of bonds between cheetahs and dogs, cats and rabbits, and lions and bears, but what about elephants and, well, you'll just have to read and see. Our story takes place on the Tula Tula private game reserve, where a sick and depressed baby elephant needed a special friend to help nurse it back to health. Can you guess what furry friend stepped up big time to change this elephant's life? An elephant is abandoned by its herd YouTube no one knows for sure, there are theories, why? This baby elephant was abandoned by its herd in South Africa, but if it weren't for a rescue team finding him, he never would have never had a chance at survival. Malnourished and sick, the team knew it was going to face an uphill battle to save his life. Luckily, this was one uphill battle they were prepared to fight. Their original plan was to get the baby healthy enough to have another herd adopt it. No one expected the best medicine the elephant would receive would end up complicating those plans. The importance of growing up in the herd YouTube the best thing possible for the abandoned elephant would have been to reintroduce it with a herd as quickly as possible. Living on a reserve, the rescuers knew what herd the little fella belonged to and tried their best to reunite him with his family. Tragically, the herd rejected several attempts to take the baby back, leaving the team baffled about what to do next. They quickly realized their only course of action to save the elephant to was take care of it themselves, then try and release it back into its herd again. The rescue team named the baby elephant Ellie YouTube the abandoned elephant was two years old when it came to the Tula Tula private game reserve in Zululand, South Africa. The rehabilitation team at the reserve gave the elephant two names, Ubuntu and Ellie. Ellie quickly captured everyone's heart, and everyone knew his time was running out. The first thing the team had to do at the reserve was give Ellie a thorough health assessment. They needed to learn what was wrong with Ellie before they could treat him. Little did they know that finding the root of his problem might also lead to why he was abandoned in the first place. Ellie was given a 1% chance to live YouTube during the assessment, the medical team found that Ellie was suffering from several life-threatening conditions. The most severe was his infected umbilical hernia. In the wild, an elephant with this ailment dies 99% of the time. The reserve faced severe pressure, but wasn't ready to let Ellie become another statistic. Ellie's team began to develop a care plan that would ensure he would live to run with his herd again one day. Still, at this point they knew rehabbing the elephant wasn't going to be easy. They had grown attached to Ellie, and feared for his future. Ellie was given 24-hour care to ensure his survival YouTube The dedicated care team at the private reservation assigned Ellie a 24-hour care team, ready to help at a moment's notice in case anything went wrong. They were motivated and determined to save Ellie's life, and kept a close eye on him as a result. As the reserve cared for Ellie, they discovered his health was worse than imagined. One issue even arose after they took him in. This problem was serious, and took all the creativity the team had to find a solution for. What exactly was wrong with Ellie that no one saw coming? Find out next. Ellie became intolerant to milk YouTube Nothing is more important to the health of baby than milk. Filled with nutrients and fat, it gives growing babies everything they need to become strong and healthy. Shortly after the medical team began to care for Ellie, the elephant became intolerant to milk, creating a big problem. At first, the team hoped Ellie was just rejecting the milk they had on site. They ordered milk from various locations, including Zimbabwe and Kenya, hoping it would make a difference. It didn't. No matter what kind of milk the team tried, Ellie rejected it. 
Coconut oil saves the day YouTube desperate for a solution, the team turned to coconut oil mixed with protein and minerals for Ellie to drink, miraculously, and to everyone's relief, the baby elephant took to his new formula and began growing stronger by the day. With Ellie eating and getting his energy back, the team felt the extreme pressure of the rehab process begin to ease. They had just found a solution to an impossible problem and felt prepared for anything else the world would throw at them. They had no idea the next big problem would be so emotional. Even elephants get depressed YouTube according to one of Ellie's caretakers, the elephant was particularly weak and particularly ill. Ellie was getting healthy, but his happiness was non-existent. He wasn't showing interest in doing anything and was very lethargic. The rescue team knew something was wrong, and needed to come up with a solution fast. Ellie may have been given a new life, but was alone and depressed. He was withdrawn and the companionship of humans wasn't cheering him up. Ellie, it turned out, was more than just depressed. He was dealing with severe emotional trauma. Ellie couldn't come to terms with losing his family. YouTube Belly had a particularly rough start to his life. Growing up in the animal kingdom isn't easy, and being abandoned by his herd for being sick was devastating for him. Even though his health was improving, the rehab team could see his emotional state was declining. The team knew they needed to introduce Ellie to new friends. Socializing is critically important to elephants in the animal kingdom, and up to this point in his life, Ellie's only friends were human. Can you guess who Ellie's first fur friend was? So many animals to make friends with, which kind would Ellie choose? YouTube The Tula Tula Private Game Reserve was home to many different kinds of animals. Some, like leopards and crocodiles wouldn't have been appropriate for Ellie to befriend, while others, like the zebra or buffalo, might accept the infant as one of their own. As a team introduced Ellie to the different animals at the reserve, though, he didn't show much interest in any of them. This couldn't have been encouraging for the team, but hope wasn't lost. There was still one more animal for Ellie to meet, and his name was Duma. Duma is a good boy YouTube with Ellie rejecting the reserve's other wild residents, the team introduced her to Duma, an adult male German shepherd. Duma lived on the grounds and used to be a police dog. On the reserve, he was free to wander where he wanted and make friends with whoever he wanted. You might think because Duma worked for the police, he would be gruff and maybe even a loner. He was the exact opposite and well known at the reserve for his tender and caring demeanor with all the animals there. When he met Ellie, a special friendship was born that no one expected. Ellie and Duma are a match made in heaven YouTube as soon as Ellie met Duma and they became friends, his attitude changed. Ellie was happier and interested in playing again. As one the rehab team described it, we introduced Doom and the elephant in the sand pile, and it immediately cheered the elephant up. Over the next few weeks, Ellie became happy again. The relationship between he and Doom was growing stronger every day until they were practically inseparable. The rehab team at the reserve couldn't have found Ellie a better companion if they wanted to. Ellie makes a surprising recovery but our story doesn't end here. YouTube with Ellie now best friends with Duma, it looked like the long journey to his recovery and revival was coming to the end. The two animals were inseparable and Ellie's fatigue and depression both appeared to be gone. As for his physical setbacks, they were almost gone. Two. During the day, Ellie and Duma could be found playing together in dirt mounds and taking nap breaks under nearby trees. Some at the reserve even said it looked like Ellie would smile when they saw the furry friend approaching. Friendship isn't the only positive benefit Duma provided. Up next, Duma becomes more than Ellie's friend, he becomes his father. Duma becomes Ellie's dad. YouTube Duma took his role as Ellie's friend seriously.
He took it so seriously that after weeks of playing together, he took on more of a paternal role in their friendship. Tula Tula employees said it became hard to keep Duma away from Ellie. Not only was he always around Ellie, he taught her how to play and worked as her personal protector. Wherever Ellie went, Duma followed. He would provide the young elephant comforting nozzles and bring him sticks to play with. Within months it appeared Ellie had made a full recovery, and the team was going to have a tough decision about his future. Videos of the friends capture the world's attention YouTube The rehab team couldn't believe their eyes with Ellie's recovery and friendship WTH Duma, saying against all odds, this little elephant is still with us. For the first time since his arrival, Ellie was happy and playful. The team began to take videos of the best friends and posting them online. In no time, Ellie and Duma became an internet sensation. As happy as this made the rehab team, it also brought up a new problem. With Ellie's health in good standing, they needed to consider reintroducing to the herd. Find out their options next. Ellie's release back into the wild becomes questionable YouTube The original plan with Ellie was to release him back into the herd when he recovered. After seeing the friendship he formed with Doom and how profoundly it had affected him, that future was suddenly put into question. Another option was to place Ellie with a herd living on the reserve. Both futures for Ellie meant breaking his bond with Duma. Tula Tula couldn't keep the elephant in the rehab center forever, but just like when Ellie showed up sick and depressed, the decision of what to do next was far more complicated than it appeared. Thanks to Duma, the team didn't have to make a decision right away YouTube The rehab team didn't know what to do, but luckily they didn't need to make a decision right away. Obviously they couldn't keep Ellie forever, but they could take as much time as they needed to contemplate his best future. The happy bond with Duma ensured that. Everything seemed to be working in Tula Tula's favor. They had overcome every obstacle they faced and had successfully nursed Telly back to health with the help of Duma the dog. They never could have predicted the devastating future waiting for them around the corner. Ellie's health takes a sudden downturn YouTube caretakers at Tula Tula thought the worst was behind them and were dreaming of the happy life ahead for Ellie. Then their worst fears snuck up on them. Ellie was struck ill, and the team that had spent months caring for him was absolutely blindsided. In January 2016, Ellie's health took a downward spiral and the reserve's medical team was forced to jump back into action. They might not have been emotionally prepared to handle the sick elephant, but based on their history, they thought they were medically prepared. Ellie's new sickness is actually an old one YouTube when Ellie took ill for the second time, one of his caretakers from Tula Tula tweeted out, we need to get four colloids brought through for a collapsed elephant calf. The staff was undersupplied, and tweeting a plea for help was one of the only things they could do to get help. So what exactly had happened? When Ellie was first brought in, one of his ailments was a septicemia infection. After months of recovery, the infection unexpectedly returned and was spreading through his body fast. The medical team had persevered through so much, but would this turn out to be too much? Ellie loses his battle for life YouTube after five months and what appeared to be a full recovery, Ellie the elephant tragically passed away five days after his infection returned. The Tula Tula Reserve was heartbroken. They fought tooth and nail to nurse Ellie back to health, and just when it looked like they had a happy ending, it was taken away. They posted the sad news online and were bombarded with heartfelt condolences from Ellie's millions of fans. They called Ellie tough and brave, and despite his untimely end, no one doubted his story would live on. The story isn't over yet. We still need to tell you what happened to Duma. Ellie is finally free to roam the wild YouTube The rehab team was overcome with deep sadness and so many tears but found comfort No, they showed Ellie happiness before his life ended.
When he came to the reserve he was sick and depressed. Then, for a brief time, he was healthy and happy. After the reserve buried Ellie, they posted a note online that read, Ellie has been returned to the wild buried in a special place at Tula where his spirit can roam with the herd. The reserve knew they lost the battle with Ellie, but also saw from the support they received and knew the bigger fight was still winnable. Next, Duma might have lost a friend, but his work at the reserve wasn't finished. The bond between Duma and Ellie will never be forgotten YouTube Ellie's millions of fans weren't the only ones who had to say goodbye to him. Duma, Ellie's best friend and adopted father, needed to say goodbye as well. We don't know how Duma took the news, but we can imagine he was pretty down. Duma didn't lay down and give up on his work, though. After all, Ellie wasn't the only animal he helped take care of. He wasn't the first and he wouldn't be the last. Before long, Duma found another fried on the reserve. Can you guess what kind of animal Duma helped next? Duma makes a new friend YouTube Duma didn't waste any time finding a new animal in need to help take care of. Instead of sitting around and being sad about the loss of Ellie, the old German Shepherd took kindly to another. What animal did Duma take under his wing next? The caretakers found a baby rhinoceros that needed a friend. After his experience with Ellie, they knew Duma would be perfect to provide the friendship needed for the rhino's emotional recovery. Duma is given a new patient YouTube it felt like deja vu when the Tula Tula Reserve took over the care of baby black rhinoceros that had been through severe emotional trauma. The rhino was the only survivor of poachers. She had no family left and needed protection and friends. The reserve made the decision to introduce Duma to the baby rhino, whom they named Nundi, to see if the same magic that happened with Ellie would happen again. It was a risk for sure, but it was a very well calculated risk. Dog meets rhino YouTube Black rhinos are an endangered species. So preserving the health of Nundi became concern number one for Tula Tula. It was Duma's time to shine, he just needed to do something special to introduce himself to the young animal. An expert in making friends with exotic animals, the clever dog knew just what to do. Duma approached Nundi with energy, curiosity, and a stuffed animal toy for the rhino to have. No one knew what to expect watching the meeting, but like with Ellie before, something beautiful and heartwarming happened. Friends who frolic together stay together YouTube Duman offered the toy to Nundi and without hesitation, the two began playing together. Nundi learned one of Duma's favorite games, and the two were instant friends. They then began to playfully chase each other and the rest is history. Before long, Nundi not only knew the rules of the games, she was the one starting the game. Her and Duma became inseparable, but the reserve knew that another problem was going to arise soon. Would Tula Tula be able to handle it? What happens when Nundi grows up? YouTube introducing Nundi to Duma as a baby was the easy part. Knowing what would happen when Nundi grew up and could pose a serious threat to her fluffy friend was another question altogether. After videos of the pair went viral, fans around the world began asking the same question. Tula Tula assured the world they weren't worried about what might happen. Because Duma was so close to Nundi, the German Shepherd was incredibly perceptive at sensing her moods and reacting appropriately. They even had a cute nickname for Duma when it came to Nundi. Duma is the rhino whisperer Twitter part of what made Duma so adept with Nundi was his previous experience working with black rhinos. As they say, this was not his first rodeo. Or, as Tula Tula puts it, Duma has been reared with rhinos and worked with a much larger black rhino, he is exceptional at reading their behavior and seems to know when to get out of the way. Duma's talent with animals is impressive. It seems no matter the size or species, the German Shepherd has a gift for making friends.
we know we won't forget the heartwarming gift Duma passes on to his animal friends anytime soon. Turns out that there are lots of amazing cross-species friendships out there. Next, we'll take a look at some more of the sweetest animal matches you've ever seen. Coco and her babies Pinterest Coco the gorilla is famous for her knowledge of sign language. This big-hearted gorilla yearned for a companion, so when she was finally given a kitten, her motherly instincts were unveiled. Coco lives in Woodside Hill in California, and although she is unable to mother any of her own babies, she adores her kitten children. When Coco turned 44, the ape was introduced to an entire litter of kittens. After carefully interacting with them, she picked up one and cuddled it and put another on her head. In sign language, she announced that the two kittens were now her babies. Swimming Buddies YouTube meet Bubbles and Bella. Bubbles is an African elephant and Bella is a black Labrador, making this pair not your typical friendship. Both are residents of the Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina. Their love for the water brought them together, and they have become best friends since they were introduced. The two have even been known to play catch together when Bubbles throws the ball with her trunk and Bella jumps off of Bubbles' head or back to retrieve it in the water. Bubbles was rescued in Africa after her parents were killed by poachers, and Bella was left by the contractor who built Bubbles' first pool. Now, they're inseparable. Long neck friends Pinterest be the giraffe and Wilma the ostrich are both residents of Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida. Since their enclosure is a massive 65 acres, they could go their entire lives without seeing each other if they wish. However, it is the exact opposite, and the pair can always be seen paling around with each other or just hanging out by the water. Maybe they feel some close connection because both of them have long necks. No matter what, these two are an unlikely pair that deserves some recognition. The fox and the hound Pinterest Tinny the dog and Sniffer the wild fox are the real-life version of the fox and the hound. The two met in the forests of Norway and have been best buds ever since. Tinny lives with the photographer Torgaya Birch and while on a walk one day they stumbled upon Sniffer. The two immediately became friends and now spend the majority of their time playing in the woods as Birch documents their experiences on film. This experience has also influenced Birch to become an activist against Norway's fox fur trade and hopes to soon publish a book about the animal's friendship. These friends are a hoot. Pinterest Talk the Dog and Shrek the Owl have developed quite an unusual relationship. As you may think owls aren't usually ones to make friends, especially with another species, Shrek found a companion in Talk. Talk's family adopted Shrek when he was just six months old. Shrek was removed from his mother because the handlers feared that he might be eaten by the mother in a high-stress situation. Luckily, Shrek found his was to talk, and the two have been buddies ever since. The lucky duckling Twitter as a duckling, Dennis the duck's mother was mauled by a fox. He was later discovered by Fred the Labrador and his owner Jeremy when taking a walk. The two adopted Dennis and gave him a home. As it turns out, Dennis and Fred got along great and enjoyed spending time together. Although an unlikely match, the two have great chemistry and Dennis loves using Fred as a giant jungle gym. Apparently, Fred is not new to making new friends, as he once was friends with a rescued baby deer. Good boy. Mabel's unlikely chicklings Pinterest Mabel the chicken lucked out when she had a foot injury. Instead of using her as food, the owner took her into his home and made her a pet. However, moving into the house wasn't the only new thing for Mabel. There was also a litter of puppies waiting for her. Strangely enough, the one-year-old hen had taken to roosting on the puppies while their mother was away. It makes Mabel happy and the puppies seem to love it too. This was a win-win for Mabel and the pups.
Anya the foster mom Pinterest after their enclosure was flooded by a hurricane, these two stunning white tiger cubs were separated from their mother. Fortunately, they were adopted by a United States animal reserve caretaker who just happened to have a chimpanzee named Anya. Anya enjoys watching over and playing with the cubs. She is careful and gentle and can be understood to be their partial mother. Anya has also helped to raise many other orphaned animals, so she's no amateur when it comes to taking care of little ones. Thank you, Anya. Little guys got to stick together Pinterest This picture was captured in 2006 in the northern Indian city of Lucknow. Indian summers often consist of monsoon rains that flood the streets, which isn't good news for small animals that are stuck on the ground. This tiny mouse was seen perched on the back of a toad, who just barely is above the flood waters. We can't say for certain what became of these two animals after this picture was taken, but our best guess is that they became good pals. After all, the toad doesn't seem to mind that this adorable mouse is seeking refuge on his body. A big cat and little dog Pinterest five years ago, a small dachshund named Milo took the lion cub named Bone Digger under his wing after it was discovered that the cub was suffering from metabolic bone disease, leaving him disabled. The two stuck like glue when they were both young even as Bone Digger matured into a fully grown lion. Now, five years later, the 500-pound lion and 11-pound pup are still good friends. They can often be seen lounging around together and enjoying each other's company. At times they are even joined by Milo's other dog friends Bullet and Angel. Juniper has a crush on Moose Pinterest Juniper is a rescued fox that developed a great friendship with her rescuer Jessica's and her Australian shepherd mix named Moose. Since Juniper's arrival at Jessica's home, Juniper and Moose have become inseparable. The pair eats together, sleeps together, plays together, and groom one another. Jessica even notes that she'll catch Juniper sitting on Moose's head using the dog as a couch. However, she says Moose doesn't seem to mind and sits patiently until Juniper is well rested. Jessica also describes their relationship as if Juniper is a little girl that has a crush on Moose. A mysterious friendship Twitter This all-white cat and cute little fox were discovered by a group of fishermen on the shore of Lake Van in Turkey. Although there isn't a definite story as to how these two became such good friends, they appear to have a happy relationship and are very playful with each other. It's likely that the fox lives in the area and the cat escapes on occasion to go visit its friend on the shores of the lake. It's definitely an unusual but surely adorable relationship. Jojo and his many friends YouTube capybaras are known to be incredibly gentle and get along well with other animals, and Jojo is no different. Jojo the capybara is possibly the most famous capybara on social media. There is even an entire website devoted to his various friendships. He can regularly be seen interacting with many other kinds of animals, whether he's cuddling with puppies, swimming with ducklings, or rolling around with the chicks that he shares a home with in Arizona, he is truly affectionate. Jojo is a stand-up capybara and loves to make all kinds of new friends. Manny and Candy Pinterest Manny is a wild boar piglet that was found starving in a field in southwest Germany. Thankfully, he was found by the Dalhouse family who brought him home with them. Upon arrival, Manny was introduced to the family's Jack Russell Terrier Candy. Like they were already lifelong friends, the two hit it off and have become partners in crime. Manny is recovering very well and will either stay with the family or be moved to a wildlife park. Let's hope for both of the animals that Manny gets to stay. Bambi and Thumper, is that you? Pinterest this dynamic duo was captured on film by animal photographer Tanya Asghani. From the series of pictures taken, these two didn't happen to just be near each other, or crossing paths, 
they actually are companions. The two can be seen exploring together, hanging out under a tree, and even showing clear signs of affection. Just when we thought Disney films are fantasy, nature throws this unique pair together for us to adore. Dog, or Gangatan's best friend Reddit Sayi the orangutan and Roscoe the blue tick hound live together in a rare and endangered species sanctuary in the United States. Although dogs are not rare or endangered, Roscoe has lived with Sayi ever since he followed her and her handlers home one day. When Sayia was transferred to the reserve Roscoe joined along. The two have been great friends ever since and enjoy lounging around, reading books, swimming, and posing for pictures together. Pack animals turned friends YouTube recently rescued by the keepers of the wild exotic animal sanctuary in Arizona, Anthony the lion and Riley the coyote met when they were both only a month old. They instantly became friends, and their bond was so evident that they were featured in a PBS Nature episode called Animal Odd Couples, which showed them playing, grooming each other, and even watching over as the other one slept. Riley accompanied Anthony when he left the sanctuary for surgeries because the animals would experience serious separation anxiety. The tortoise and the cow YouTube Simon the Cow better known as Simon Cow L, arrived at the WFFD Wildlife Rescue Center in Thailand in February 2016 due to a loss of part of his hind leg. He was put in a temporary location in a field as was eventually supposed to join two other cows when he was ready. But Simon had other plans. He formed a strong albeit unlikely friendship with a giant tortoise named Leonardo that was from the Bangkok Zoo which closed in 2013. Simon snuggles next to Leonardo, rests his head on his shell and they follow each other everywhere. They now live in their own enclosure permanently. Complete opposites Pinterest Gem came to the Rhino Orphanage in South Africa in March 2017 but was still too young and small to be with the other rhinos. After a few months, she made friends with Joey, a lamb who had been abandoned by her mother and brought into the sanctuary. Although Joey was only a few days old, the two became quite the duo. Now, they go on daily walks together and eat from the same trough. Just this May, the orphanage adopted another lamb named Penny, who they introduced into Jem and Joey's little friend group, making peace with the enemy Pinterest Brazilian biologist Andre Cost found an owl when it was just a baby. He named the owl Fobby and was concerned it wouldn't get along with his cat Cleo, but when he brought Fobby home, Cleo welcomed the bird and the two became great friends. This is interesting considering that birds and cats have an unspoken hatred for each other. Now, the two can be seen spending most of their time together just hanging out and enjoying each other's company. From enclosure mates to best friends Pinterest Thember the elephant was taken to the Shamwari Rehabilitation Center when he was six months old after being orphaned. He was put in an enclosure with a sheep named Albert. Thembo initially wasn't so sure how his new roommate and chased Albert around the watering hole as soon as they were introduced. Yet, in the morning, Thembo would not leave Albert's side. The two were seen exploring the enclosure together, with Thembo's trunk sitting on Albert's back. Since then, the two can't go anywhere without each other. Mubi's Nighttime Pals Pinterest Mubi is an endangered drill monkey that was born at the Lim Animal Park near Canterbury, Kent. At only two weeks old, she was rejected by her mother, so the zookeeper Simon Jeffrey decided to take her in. During the day she lives at the enclosure to interact with the other monkeys, however, at night Jeffrey takes her home where she has made friends with his two Jack Russell Terrier puppies named Ian and Daisy. The three of them spend their evenings wrestling around on the couch and making a general mess. 
an abandoned kitten's protector and best friend Pinterest in 1999 a stray kitten appeared in Wall and Ann Colletto's yard in Massachusetts. The couple began feeding the cat, yet they weren't the only ones that were helping out the meek feline. A crow was watching over the cat, who by now was given the name Cassie, by feeding her worms and protecting her from other animals. Even when the Colletos managed to get the cat inside, every day the crow, named Moses by the family, would peck at the door for Cassie and they would spend the day together. There is video evidence taken by the Colletos because they knew that nobody would believe them. This routine went on for five years until Moses suddenly stopped showing up. The Colletos and Cassie were heartbroken but assumed he had succumbed to old age. A sad yet poetic story Pinterest for eight years at the Tennessee Elephant Sanctuary, the elephant Tara was best friends with a mutt named Bella who had wandered onto the grounds. They were so close that Bella would even let Tara rub her belly with her giant foot. One time when Bella had spinal surgery, Tara stood on the balcony and waited to show concern for her friend. In 2011, Bella was found dead from most likely a coyote attack, however, there was no evidence of an attack except for her body. Then, they found blood on Tara's trunk, she had picked up Bella and moved her body to a safe place. Tom and Jerry should take note Pinterest this is a picture of Batman, a Dumbo eared rat, and Pumpkin, the resident cat at a Tennessee animal shelter. At the shelter, Pumpkin has a reputation for showing compassion to any species that enters the building. After the shelter acquired Batman from another animal control officer, they decided that he would be the perfect companion for Pumpkin. This realization came after they were cleaning out Batman's cage and Pumpkin decided to jump right in. It is a common idea that cats and rodents do not get along, but Pumpkin and Batman are here to prove otherwise. An odd sight to see Twitter Silky Chicken Penny and Two-Legged Chihuahua Ru became unlikely pals after being taken in by Alicia Williams, a receptionist at Duluth Animal Hospital in Georgia. Sadly, Rue was abandoned in addiction disabled before he was adopted by Williams. As for Penny, Williams adopted her when she was a few weeks old, saving her from a testing facility. Rue was born without his two front legs, but that doesn't stop him from living an active lifestyle with the help of his wheelchair. The pals do everything together and sometimes Penny even rides on Rue's back. Using her motherly instincts Pinterest they say that primates are the most genetically similar to humans, so that's probably why this chimp is fascinated by puppies, because who doesn't love puppies? Anna lives at a wildlife park in Daventry, England. Both wild and domestic animals coexist at this park, which is why Anna is in close contact with the many puppies that are born there. Anne reportedly has a fascination with puppies and sort of takes on a babysitter role whenever they're born. Her maternal instincts at play, she cradles them as if they were her own and is protective when strangers get close. This is a story about a bear named Lucky Pinterest Lucky is the brown bear cub pictured on the right. He was spotted in the backyard of a Slovenian family, who decided to adopt him. While a part of the family, Lucky took a liking to the family Rottweiler, much to everyone's delight. Although the family was warned that they should send Lucky to a shelter, raising a wild bear is potentially dangerous, Lucky disappeared before they could do anything about it. This led authorities to believe that he was stolen, but once he was found, Lucky was sent to a bear orphanage in Romania, where he will be rehabilitated into the wild. She couldn't have Pinterest although they are able to coexist with one another in people's homes, cats and dogs are always pitted against each other in popular culture. Dogs are excitable and loyal, while cats are passive and careless. But this isn't always the case, as proven by this photo. This story of this pairing begins with loss.
This cat had a kitten that passed away, while this puppy's mother got hit by a car. The cat then took on a motherly role and began to care for the orphan pup. Here, she is nursing the puppy, who otherwise might not have survived if no one had found it. Judy and her baby Pinterest This dog's name is Judy and she lives at a zoo near Tamworth, Staffordshire, England. On top of Judy's head sits a growing busy baby, a small primate native to Africa that is otherwise known as a Galago. When they are born, bush babies need to cling to warm bodies for 24 hours a day, but sadly, this bush baby was rejected by its own mother. The zookeepers thought of a solution and trained Judy to care for the bush baby. Now, Judy has become a surrogate mother to this bush baby and has provided warmth at all hours of the day. It only takes one to make her feel welcome Twitalola the Chihuahua and Princess Leia the Nigerian dwarf goat are apparently best friends. They live together on a dairy farm in Cumberland, Maine, where they like to chase each other and jump off bales of hay. National Geographic reports that when Lola was first brought to the farm, she was a mere four inches tall and was very intimidated. Seeing that she was having a hard time making friends, Princess Leia took Lola under her wing, or should we say hoof, and welcomed her to the bunch. This only goes to show that it takes a simple act of friendship for one to feel welcome in a strange place. Manuka and Hector Pinterest This is Manuka the micro pig and Hector the house cat. Here, they look like two siblings with Manuka annoying Hector, yet you can tell that the love is still there. These two are actually part of an intermixed household that is home to five more micro pigs and a dog. They all eat, sleep, and play together in Christchurch, Cambridgeshire, cared for by their owner Jane Croft. Croft told Daily Mail, they can't stop playing with each other. They may be a handful at times but when it comes to feeding it's like a well-oiled machine. Or maybe a military operation.